Com. Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. Registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other health care practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health, and to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to the Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it's a renewing system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing and regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we're here for you on the Bright Side. We welcome your phone calls. 855-660-4261 is our number. Try to get on board early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 855-660-4261. If you have questions about the longevity products, ingredients, skin care, any kind of health issues, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love success stories, and I get them all the time on on my uh, Gmail, on my Facebook, I talk to you guys, I hear success stories, share your success stories, it means a lot more when you guys say something than it does when I say something, because you are actually living proof of the power of these ideas that we talk about on the Bright Side every day, so please share your success stories, of course, if you want to contribute to the conversation, you're welcome to call in at 855 855- 660-4261. If you want to learn more about the Longevity products, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, take a look at our shopping cart with all the Longevity products, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And make sure you ask about joining the Brightside Ben team. You can make a little money selling Longevity products, help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business for a one-time $10 fee. You can start your own business, and you can even just get your products at the wholesale price if you want for a one-time $10 fee. They can tell you all about it at 866-735-2470, or you can click on the Join the Team link on brightsideben.com. And I also encourage you guys to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly, pharmacistben.com. All righty, thanks so much for joining us on the Bright Side. Once again, we are talking about dietary protein. I just love this subject. It's so rife, like, like a lot of nutrition, it's filled with misunderstandings and, and mythologies. Tomorrow, for, uh, tomorrow, the day after, for the next week or so, we're going to be talking about the importance of dietary protein. Another misunderstood and vitally important nutrition subject, all foods contain protein in the same fashion that all life contains protein. Protein is the quintessential nature of life. Life is protein. Protein is life. When it comes to dietary protein, we're conditioned to look at meat as being a great source of protein. If you say to somebody, you've got to eat more protein, visions of steaks and hamburgers enter into uh, into a person's mind, but this is not really accurate, somewhat misleading. Everything has protein in it, and while it's true that meat is protein, it isn't necessarily good quality protein because of processing, because of cooking, because of agribusiness and economic-inspired farming and antibiotics and hormones. The way we eat meat today is far from healthy, and in my opinion, with the notable exception of freshly killed wild game. In my opinion, the less meat we eat, the better off we are. Again, I'm making an exception here for for hunted wild game that are subsisting on wild grass and their natural kinds of foods. Cows are not supposed to eat grains. Livestock are not supposed to eat corn. So when we eat steak and when we eat hamburgers and we eat meat the way we eat meat today, we're not eating meat the way we're supposed to be eating meat. 
We're going to be talking about dietary protein here in a few days, so I don't want to get off on a tangent too much here, but I just want to mention meat eating at this point because it is the subject of so much confusion. Human beings are clearly omnivorous. The human animal is designed to eat everything. We're opportunistic eaters like many mammals, rats, skunks, orangutans. We're all opportunistic eaters. We eat whatever we can. We're designed to eat almost anything that was at one time or is alive. Our bodies are well equipped to handle meat. Don't pay any attention to nonsense from militant vegetarians or militant vegans that say human beings are not supposed to eat meat. That's not true. Our bodies are designed to eat everything. We're opportunistic, omnivorous eaters. It's not meat, per se, that is the problem. It's 21st century Burger King meat. It's 21st century McDonald's meat and Applebee's meat and restaurant meat and supermarket meat and even butcher shop meat that's the problem. If you want to eat meat, it should be grass-fed hormone-free, antibiotic-free, and most importantly, freshly and humanely slaughtered. Read Temple Grandin. Temple Grandin is a, uh, a professor at uh, Colorado State University. She's actually autistic, and she studies what animals go through when they're being slaughtered. And as it turns out, it isn't very nice. There's all kinds of death chemicals and death hormones and stress hormones that are secreted as animals are being slaughtered. And this impairs their health value. This reduces the health value of meats. So you want meat that is freshly and humanely slaughtered. But you know what? The less meat you eat, the better off you are. Whey and egg are the best protein sources going. Whey protein and egg protein. Egg protein may be, even though it's not as nutritionally dense, it may be a little bit better than, than whey because whey is a processed food. But still, whey protein and egg protein are your two best protein sources going. And in addition to protein, or in addition to amino acids, whey protein and egg protein have growth factors and immune stimulating factors that no other proteins have. This is why whey and egg are singular. They stand out when it comes to protein value. Seafood can give you some quality protein as well, but then you've got to be careful because of the pollutants and the toxins in the water, and this reduces their, their protein and food value. And in my opinion, seafood should be a quality source of protein. We'll be going into dietary protein in a couple of days, so uh, we'll continue this discussion then. Right now, I want to talk about enzymes. So our last program, we left off talking about the major classes of protein in the, in the body, enzymes. So there are two other types of protein in the body. You've got structural proteins, things like collagen that give bones and connective tissue their substance and hardness. And then there's keratin from which our hair and our nails and the hard part of our skin barrier is composed. These are structural types of proteins. You also have communication proteins. These are molecules that communicate to a cell, especially immune system, the immune system and the inflammatory system. They command cells to do different things, almost like hormones. We'll be talking about these two uh, here in a little bit. For now, I want to talk about enzymes, which are, uh, like all proteins, very misunderstood and uh, and in the world of protein, anyway, they are the singular most important proteins going. As we said in our last bright, bright Side episode, enzymes are matchmakers. They're matchmaker molecules. They pull things together so they can react. Just like a real flesh and blood matchmaker pulls two people together so they can interact, enzymes pull two molecules together so they can interact. When enzymes perform their matchmaker roles on chemicals in the body, we call them metabolic enzymes. Metabolic refers to the chemistry in the body. And when these matchmaker chemicals do their work on food, which is composed of chemicals that have gotten into the body but are not quite part of the body yet, we call them digestive enzymes. And this is what I want to talk about for the next few minutes. Digestive enzymes come in three flavors or three varieties. You've got digestive enzymes that work on fats. We call those lipases. You've got digestive enzymes that work on sugars. We call those amylases. And then the ones I really want to hit on today are the digestive enzymes that work on protein. We call them proteases. Now, all three of these digestive enzymes, they're all proteins. They're all proteins. Lipases, amylases, proteases, they're all made up of proteins. That means that digestive enzymes themselves are composed of dietary substances, food, i.e. protein that's taken in by the body. Eating protein, dietary protein, is a way to upregulate your own digestive enzymes, and these are very, very important. Because of the critical role that dietary protein plays in forming the pool of protein molecules from which the body creates all the other proteins, structural proteins, communication proteins, enzyme proteins, protein intake as well as protein digestion and absorption are key, key, key features of good health. 
They play a super important role in good health. Protein intake, protein absorption, protein digestion. If you have any messed up digestive issues or you're not getting enough protein, big, big problems are going to arise. We'll continue this when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to Brightside. We'll be back after this. You have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U-Health.com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. Gold is like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LeSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LeSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LeSig a long time ago. LeSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, LeSig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a vapriate at LeSig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. LeSig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. Back on the bright side. Thank you for being here, friends. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page, brightsideben.com. You'll find a shopping cart up there and a join the team link that you can click on if you want to 
start start yourself a longevity business and make some money selling longevity products or just get your products at the wholesale price. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. We update it regularly, and we are going to be starting a newsletter, hopefully in the next four to eight weeks, so please sign up for that as well, and that's at PharmacistBen.com. Okay, so we are talking protein, dietary protein, because of the really super important role that dietary protein plays in forming the pool of protein molecules from which the body then recreates different kinds of structural proteins and communication proteins and enzyme proteins. It's all coming from food, you guys. On some level, it's all coming from protein intake. That makes protein intake super important, but it also makes protein digestion super important and protein absorption super important. If you've got a messed up digestive system, that means that your protein hardware isn't going to be able to, your your body's not going to be able to construct your protein hardware. And that means degeneration of the body as in chronic degenerative disease, as in 80% of the health costs in this country. How much of it is due simply to lack of an intake of an adequate amount of protein or breakdowns in how protein is utilized by the body? Once protein metabolism becomes impaired in any way, you name the disease and it is possible. Heart disease, cancer, autoimmune disease, arthritis, skin disease, these are all possible and likely outcomes of impaired protein digestion or deficient protein intake. And then there's the whole issue of satisfaction and satiety. In the past, we've talked about how food protein can help us regulate our eating behaviors. Protein foods are satisfying. The reason is, the reason protein foods are so satisfying is because proteins are so much harder to process than carbohydrates and fats. The body has to work much harder to break down and utilize proteins than it does to break down and utilize carbohydrates and fats. Fats, carbs and fats can be chemically transformed pretty darn quickly. That's why they can be used so efficiently as energy sources. Stick a marshmallow in a, uh, in a fire. Poof. It goes up in, uh, instantly. That's how fast carbohydrates and fats are. That's a demonstration of how fast carbs and fats can be chemically transformed. Protein, on the other hand, is very, very stable. Proteins are stability. That's why proteins are life. They're stable in the body. It takes a lot more work to break down a protein than it does to break down a, a carb or a sugar, a carb or a fat. It's like the difference between a marshmallow or a stick of butter and your fingernails. Put a marshmallow in some fire. Put some butter in some fire, and they will almost instantly transform. Butter will melt instantly. Marshmallow will burn instantly. Put fingernails in fire, not so much. Your fingernails are, are pure protein, essentially. Some minerals involved, but mostly protein. In fact, your fingernails probably won't ever melt and burn. And that's because from a chemistry standpoint, proteins are super stable. We call protein hardware, as in hard. They're stable. Hardware is stable. And proteins are particularly well-suited from a chemistry perspective to resist degradation as well as the aging process. Now, like any molecules, they're going to be broken down eventually, but it takes a lot more work for the body to be able to do this than it does for the other main macronutrients carbohydrates and fats and this accounts in large measure anyway for the incredibly satisfying nature of protein sometimes i wonder if our obesity epidemic is really a protein deficiency epidemic we hear so much about how we're eating too much refined carbohydrates we're eating too much fats we're eating too much sugar but maybe it's not so much that we're eating an excess of carbs and fats as much as it is a deficiency in protein intake how much protein did you have today how much protein did you have yesterday You want about half a gram to a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Now, meat, you don't really know what you're getting if you cook your meat or actually if you cook any protein. The only real way to know how much protein you're getting is to use supplemental protein, such as whey protein, whey protein powder, or any supplemental protein powder. That way you can guarantee yourself how much protein you're getting. Now, what exactly happens when we eat protein? Say we eat a piece of meat. What exactly is the process? What exactly is the digestive process and the absorption process after we ingest a piece of meat? Say you have a a steak, right? Put Put the piece of steak in your mouth. What happens? Well, the first thing that happens is that enzymes in the mouth, they're called proteases, protein digesting enzymes. First thing that happens is proteases in the saliva will begin to react with the protein in the meat. 
And in combination with our chewing action, this will initiate the protein digestion process. The more we chew, the more enzymatic activity we'll have on that meat in combination with the mechanical crushing of our teeth and the tearing apart of our, uh, of our piece of meat, we can make some pretty good headway on beginning the digestive process. This is why chewing your food is so darn important. It actually begins the digestive process and reduces the load on the rest of the digestive system. It reduces the amount of work the rest of your digestive system has to do. So you chew your piece of meat, you, your saliva contacts that piece of meat, and from there, our little piece of meat, our little chopped up chewed piece of meat drops down our our uh, gullet drops down the, uh, the uh, esophagus into the stomach where really strong acids and digestive juices and digestive enzymes further digest or dissolve the protein. And in combination with water that we've either been drinking during our meals or from foods, this whole uh, mass of protein of chewed up meat and liquids from uh, water or from uh, uh, food water turns this whole mass into a soupy consistency. The soupy consistency then drops into the small intestine. By the way, the, uh, the soup is, soupy consistency is called chyme, C-H-Y-M-E. And this is one of the reasons, if I can digress just a little bit here, this is one of the reasons why you want to drink with your meals. I hear so many supposed alternative practitioners and healthcare practitioners and uh, you know, people who don't know a lot about how the body works saying you shouldn't drink water with your meals. Not true. You should drink water with your meals. In fact, the more water you drink, the better your digestive process is going to be. And the more filling and the more satisfying your food will be as well. So you want to drink water with your meals, your water, uh, the water that you're drinking. And if you don't drink water with your meals, you'll still get water in your food. So uh, anyway, water in the meal, water from your meals, water from the food, combination with the protein, chopped up, turns into a soupy mass, drops into the small intestine from the stomach. And this is really where the action happens in terms of protein, uh, protein utilization. As the protein drops from the stomach into the intestine, the pancreas then squirts digestive juices, more enzymes, onto our little piece of meat in, in the small intestine. And finally, our little piece of meat is broken down into its smallest constituents, its smallest parts, which we call amino acids. And then those amino acids are absorbed into cells. The, the cells that line the small intestine take in the amino acids, and then they, uh, the cells re release the amino acids into the blood on the other side of the intestine. And this is where our little piece of steak becomes us. Once the cells that line the small intestine suck up those amino acids and then uh, turn around and, and release the amino acids on the other side of the intestine into the blood, then the amino acids become us. Now, these amino acids are in the blood, and uh, from, from that point, from the point of the intestine, they then travel to their final, at least temporary final resting place the temporary uh, home of amino acids, the warehouse of amino acids which is where they're going to be stored until they're used. Most of us know this amino acid warehouse, this storage site for all dietary amino acids as our liver. That's what the liver does, among other things, is it stores and houses and transforms and utilizes amino acids. All right, more, I've got, got a few more things I want to say about this, and we'll take your phone calls as well. 855-660-4261 is our number. We're coming back at you right after this. Enrich and enlighten your life with the Awake and Empowered Expo, October 11th through 13th at the Kobo Center in Detroit. Experts from around the world present the latest advancements in holistic health, wellness science, and free energy technology. It's a weekend of insightful lectures, workshops, and discussions, all designed to help you reach your highest potential self. Find the path that will cleanse your body and mind and open doors to a new level of consciousness. Discover the benefits of raw food and juicing for Participate in the meditative practice of Tai Chi. Strengthen the body through yoga and view life-changing documentaries. An amazing array of exhibitors will offer the newest products and services that support a healthy and holistic lifestyle. Visit AwakenEmpoweredExpo.com for tickets. The Awaken Empowered Expo, October 11th through 13th at the Kobo Center in Detroit. Raising global consciousness as we come together to empower ourselves and each other to live to our fullest potential. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. 
Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. The fall season is here. Falling downstairs, bad. Fallback pricing, good. Don't fall down the stairs. Go to freezedryguy.com. Vote for special fallback pricing on delicious freeze-dried foods and dehydrated foods. Vote early. Vote often through October 10th. Tell us which product to put on sale. Then, beginning October 11th, Fallback Friday, the price of the product with the most votes will be on sale with special fallback pricing. Missing out on a sale on emergency preparedness food, camping food, or backpacking food? Bad. Storing delicious freeze-dried entrees, fruits, vegetables, and desserts? Good. Go to freezedryguy.com. Vote now through October 10th for fallback pricing. Voting for politicians who expose themselves? Bad. Voting for fallback pricing at freezedryguy.com. Good. Go to freezedryguy.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. All right, we are back on the bright side. Thank you for being here, friends. Our number is 855-660-4261. We'll get your phone calls here in a second. Got a couple lines open for you. Uh, let's see. So uh, food, uh, your, your little piece of meat, we're tracking down a little piece of meat as it enters your mouth and goes down into your digestive tract to its final resting place in the liver as it's going through the stomach and drops into the small intestine. It gets broken down finally into its constituent parts, and this is so, so important, especially if you're dealing with autoimmune disease. And I'm, I'm going to be talking about this tomorrow. But first, I want you to understand how this whole thing happens, how protein from our, our food ends up becoming protein in our body. 
You eat a piece of protein, drops, uh, de- uh, you chew it, it drops down your esophagus into your stomach, it further gets degraded, it then enters the small intestine, it gets further degraded until it's, uh, it, all that remains is its constituent parts, which are called amino acids. These amino acids then get sucked up by the cells that line the intestine. Those cells then turn around after they've absorbed those amino acids and release the absorbed amino acids into the blood, and then the blood travels into the liver, and those aminos are stored. And that's how protein from our food gets turned into protein in us. Now, if you have any breakdowns in this process, autoimmune diseases of all kinds are very likely to occur. And if you're dealing with any kind of autoimmune disease, you're going to want to tune in tomorrow because I'm going to tell you how this whole thing happens and what you can do about it. Have you heard that autoimmunity is related to malabsorption of proteins? Probably not, but it certainly is. And we'll tell you what we mean tomorrow as we continue talking about dietary protein, how you can use dietary protein and how you can correct protein malabsorption problems, all as it has to do with osteoporosis and anabolism and building. We'll continue that tomorrow on our next Bright Side episode. Time to hit our telephones. 855-660-4261 is our number. Welcome to the Bright Side. Lee in Missouri. What's up? Uh, greetings, Ben. Greetings to yeah, you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay, but my mom's doing the fallback, the bad fallback. She's uh, been falling down quite a bit lately. In fact, okay. she just fell down about an hour ago. Oh, my goodness. How old is she? Uh, 87. Okay. A couple things. First of all, how's her health otherwise? She on prescription drugs? Does she have heart disease, diabetes, anything like that? Weight issues? Uh, the only thing that she's doing is uh, they had her on the, the mild uh, blood pressure medicine. I don't think she takes that most of the time. Okay, well, blood pressure medicine can certainly cause dizziness. In fact, dizziness is, uh, and I'm assuming that's what you're dealing with, is dizziness. Uh, dizzy, problems with dizziness can, uh, can be associated with almost any prescription drug. If you look at the, the package insert, and by the way, if anybody using a prescription drug, please read the package insert, especially adverse effects and side effects. It doesn't mean you're going to get every single adverse effect or even any adverse effect or side effects, but you should be well aware of what you're taking and the uh, potential side effects and dangers associated with prescription drugs. Almost any prescription drug can cause vertigo or dizziness and can lead to falling down. This is one of the reasons why elderly folks should never take prescription drugs unless it's absolutely necessary. Now, a couple of the, the two main systems that you want to focus on for dizziness or for falling down issues or balance issues are the adrenal glands and the brain. As far as the brain goes, a couple things that you want to do, B vitamins are your brain vitamins, B for brain. Now, of course, B vitamins do a lot of things, but the B vitamins are super important for brain health. First thing, get your mom on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You might also want to throw in some B100. The neatest thing, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is an amazing product. I've been talking about this stuff in its Tangy Tangerine form or its Beyond Tangy Tangerine form for almost 17 years now. It is amazing, amazing stuff. But one of the most, reason, the most important reasons why it's so amazing is because it's dense, it's packed, it's loaded with the B-complex, and it has the B-complex in liquid form, which means ready to absorb. It bypasses any digestive issues, and the B vitamins are stupendously important for mental health and brain health. So get around the BTT, uh, and you may also want to throw in a B100. Lee, if you can do this, this will really be helpful, and this is anybody over the age of, say, 45 or 50 would benefit from B12 shots, vitamin B12 shots. There are many people, including myself, who believe the B12 deficiency is a hidden epidemic because B12 deficiencies can show up as heart disease, it can show up as nerve disease, it can show up as protein malabsorption, and it can certainly show up as problems with dizziness so, or fatigue or depression, for that matter. So... Uh, you may want to consider a B12 shot as well. Uh, there's also a, a neat substance called glutathione, which can have some wonderful benefits for movement disorders and brain health issues. There's a really neat YouTube that I saw, and I, I haven't been able to find it again, but it's a, it's a YouTube video of a guy who's got Parkinson's disease, and they show this guy walking down the street, walking down a hallway uh, with a, doing the typical Parkinson's kind of stumbling around gait, and then they show the same guy after a shot of glutathione, which is the body's major detoxifying chemical. And by the way, if you have any protein malabsorption or protein digestion problems, you're not going to be making glutathione. That's another problem with protein malabsorption. Anyway, they give this guy a shot of glutathione and his Parkinson's symptoms disappear within seconds. So uh, you may want to consider uh, uh, either IV glutathione or helping your mom build glutathione by using the OPC selenium, which is very important for glutathione building. MSM sulfur, also very important for glutathione building. And then the amino acid glutamine, uh, you can get that as a powder and you can put half a teaspoonful in water and drink that down. Essential fatty acids are also very important for brain health issues. Uh, get on the get your mom on the ultimate EFAs. Make sure she's taking those with food. And then, uh, as far as are you already she already on that? Well, how about coconut oil? 
Coconut oil is good, but it's not an essential fatty acid. No, coconut oil is stupendous, one of my favorites, but it's not an essential fatty acid. This is very important. You need the EFAs as well. But, yeah, coconut oil would not hurt her. would definitely be a good idea, a teaspoon of coconut oil. And then the adrenal glands, there's a couple things. I, I, my, my dad used to have a problem with dizziness, and I just told him about deep breathing. And of course, he poo-pooed it, and he didn't listen to me for a long time. And then he, for some reason, he just did the deep breathing, and... Uh, Sure enough, he wasn't dizzy anymore, and now he thinks I'm some kind of nutritional hero. He still doesn't listen to me all the time, but he sure does do, do his deep breathing, and it helped a lot. So uh, when your mom is sitting down before she stands up or if she's lying down before she gets up, or even if, when she's just walking around, slow, deep breathing can stabilize the adrenal glands, and that can help protect against dizziness. Again, the B complex is very important for the adrenals, especially B12, and vitamin B5, super, super important for adrenal health issues. In addition to the BTT, she may want to consider maybe 1,000, 2,000 milligrams a day of vitamin B5 with the B complex. The adrenal glands are packed with vitamin C, and vitamin C, as we've said many times in this program, is the primal panacea. A panacea is a substance that's good for everything. And vitamin C is indeed a panacea. It's good for everything, especially adrenal health issues. 1,000 to 2,000, even up to 10,000 milligrams a day uh, of vitamin C is, uh, is, would be a good idea for anybody, for everybody really, but anybody with adrenal issues especially. The one thing with vitamin C is you don't want to take too much all at once. It'll give you a little diarrhea. Uh, zinc is probably the most important mineral for the adrenal glands, 50 milligrams of zinc a day. I like zinc picolinate, and iodine is also a very important adrenal gland mineral. Uh, she may want to consider using iodine as well. Uh, there's also something she can get at a health food store called liquid adrenal extract, and that sometimes helps folks who have adrenal problems. So there's a lot of information there, and I don't mean to – there's probably more. That uh, wasn't being comprehensive, but that should be a great place for you to start. Last but most certainly not least, if she can uh, track – her dizziness or any of her symptoms to digestive health issues, if she's got bowel movement problems or anything like that, and, uh, eliminating problem foods can also help uh, with problems with dizziness or, or falling down kinds of issues. And, and it is a very serious problem. It's one of the leading cause, causes of hip fractures in the elderly, and even death in the elderly is simple falling down. So it is something that you want to take seriously. I hope I helped you out there, Lee. Any, anything yeah. else, or is yeah. that clear? Uh, one more question, if I may. Sure. A quick one on uh, your protein digestion. Yes. Um, I take uh, uh, kombucha, yes, which wonderful. is a fermented food. Yeah, absolutely. Does that uh, have enzymes in it? Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh, do your kombucha after you do a protein meal. Absolutely, there's enzymes in there. Good job. i got to move on, Lee. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, and I hope that helps with your mom. All right, uh, hang tight. If you're on the line, we'll get to you when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. If you suffer seasonal or environmental allergies and your doctor has told you that the only answer is medications for the rest of your life, Dr. Peter Glinton has an alternative solution that doesn't involve drugs with terrible side effects. One of my favorite add-on products to the 90 essential nutrients for people who are suffering with allergies is a product called Cell Shield RTQ. Cell Shield RTQ. The Q in that product stands for a biochemical called quercetin, and quercetin is a natural antihistamine. It doesn't flag out your immune system like antihistamines do. To manage your allergies without a lifetime of prescription or over-the-counter drugs, order Longevity's Cell Shield RTQ today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. What if you had a witness everywhere you drive? Now you can with VideoDashCam.com. From truckers to motorcyclists, the handy Video Dash Cam can be used for insurance claims, accidents, police encounters, road rage, or natural disasters. Has instant screen playback and optional night vision. Get the best quality, affordable HD Dash Cameras available at VideoDashCam.com. That's VideoDashCam.com. Or call 855-855-2022. Always have a witness with Video Dash Cam. 
That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Don't answer it. How can I stop these annoying collection calls? Imagine being free from your debt without settling and with no payment plan, no negotiating or filing bankruptcy, and no attorney. What if you could eliminate the risk from all your unsecured debt in about 90 days and keep all your money? You can. It's called Zero Debt Guarantee, and it works. There's no other program of its kind on the planet, and we guarantee the results in writing. Call now, 800-477-9256. Let our team of experts provide you with the resources to fight back, stop collection calls, and prevent and stop wage garnishments and bank levies. If you're facing foreclosure, we can help. Don't go it alone. Get free information now by calling 800-477-9256. Talk to an expert who has also completed our program. Call 800-477-9256 for free info or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. That's 800-477-9256 or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side. I am Farm Spend. Time to go to, let's see, North Carolina and talk to Michael. What's up, Michael? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. How you doing? Doing good. How can we help you, bro? I'm doing a lot better than I was uh, thanks to your help. Praise God. Uh, are you have, are you the guy who had you had an autoimmune issue? You were, you were in a wheelchair or something? Was that you? Absolutely, yeah. yeah I remember. Absolutely. Well, tell yeah, me your story. Before you get to your question, tell me your story real quick. Real quick. Well, I was diagnosed with the uh, uh, autoimmune uh, disease called auto myopathy myopathy or something. I can't okay. pronounce it correctly. Anyway, um, I, had, I was unable to walk properly. I was... I was reduced to having to use a walker. I really should have been on in a wheelchair, but I I kind of got through using a walker. All right. Uh, uh, after speaking with you and finding out exactly what was going on with me, uh, you su- suggested some products, some some uh, probi- probiotics and other products, enzymes. Yeah. And how uh, you doing? I'm doing a lot better. Oh, that's I, awesome. Uh, are you walking? Are you out of the walker and you're walking normally? I'm, I'm pretty much. I'm, I'm getting there. I still have some weak uh, ab muscles that needs to be developed. And, That's uh, awesome. But, That's awesome. Good I'm, job, I'm, Michael. But I'm not using the cane anymore. That's awesome. How old are you, Michael? I'm 56. Oh, you got plenty. You, you, you're young enough. You could reverse this thing really nicely. And how, how many months has it been? It's been three or four months, no? At least. Uh, better than that, probably, because I think... Uh, it's probably yeah, probably about five months actually. Five months since we talked. I remember talking to you. All right, we got to uh, move. Yeah, but, I, I, I got a bunch of calls. So how can I help you today, Michael? That's great news too. Well, but well, they 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 want me to start taking this uh, infusion. I don't know what what the name of it is, but I do know that it shuts down the uh, immune system. Does that sound like a good idea to you, Michael? No, not at all. <laughs> of course not. not. At all. 
and you're not a doctor. It's a bad idea. You never want to shut down the immune system. Continue what you're doing, uh, but really focus on something and on things that are. If you're, if they want to shut down your immune system, that means you've got a hyperactive, jumpy immune system, and still something is getting into your body inappropriately. The only way to find out what that is, is to track your foods. Have you been fasting, or did you do the fasting at all? Yes, I did uh, a couple times, not not that often. Um, uh, but I've been watching what I eat. I've been juicing a lot, and um, I, I was wondering, was there anything that I could do? Because the main reason that they want to shut down my immune system because my CK levels have gone up, has been up so high, and that enzyme has been attacked attacking my muscle fiber. Well, you still have something percolating in there that's that's attack that's getting into your body through the liver. The CK enzymes mean that the liver is still a little tweaked. So you got to still focus on what you're putting in your body that's messing up the immunity. There's, I mean, it's great that you're improving, but there's still some more work that you need to do. What I would do if I were you is I would concentrate on fasting and then reintroducing foods in a mono diet fashion. And what I mean by that is you fast for a couple of days and then you spend the next the third day eating just one kind of food, say, and, and pick your favorite food. Just eat your favorite food all day long and see what happens. Chances are your favorite food is going to be a problem because most people's favorite food is a problem. And then you know to eliminate that. Then you do it again. You fast again for a day or two, and then you spend the third day eating just one kind of food. That's called a mono diet, uh, and it's a great way to figure out what kind of foods are causing the problem. That's really, I, I, I'm guessing. You know, I'm not there, so I can't see it, but I'm guessing you're still putting something into your body that's causing your immune system to react. And that's good news, really, because that means once you find it and you eliminate it, your body's going to turn right around. It's going to be able to regenerate itself. Focus on the digestive system still. You may also want to try using nutrients for the digestive system, and I'll give you a couple real quick. One is the Z-radical. Are you on the Z-radical for longevity? No. Uh... You may want to get that. That will coat the digestive system, and it will also help your immune system as well. Glutamine powder might help, uh, uh, 5 grams, which is a teaspoon of glutamine powder in water, very nice for the digestive system. And then also uh, zinc, picolinate is very important for the digestive system. And essential fatty acids are important for the digestive system. And then the B-complex, that's, there's a lot of things that are important for the digestive system, but then the B-complex as well. If, you're not, if you do have any digestive problems, and the chances are you do, you're not going to be absorbing protein either, and that can slow down the repair and healing process also. So make sure you're using your digestive enzymes, and if you're not on whey protein, you might want to continue that. Uh, ask me a couple, if you have anything else, ask me quickly, because I want to try to get to as many calls as I can here, Michael. Anything else going on, bro? Well, that was pretty much what I had, uh... Uh, I, you know, I just need to tell this guy I don't want to do that, that uh, infusion. I wouldn't recommend it. You know, why don't you, if you shoot me an email with your phone number in there, I'll try to get you a call and we can talk personally, okay, Michael? Okay, I appreciate that. All right, buddy. God, God bless. Have a beautiful day, man. That's good news. That is really, really good news. That's what we're capable of, people. This is the guy who's in a walker. Started doing some of these ideas that we talk about here on the bright side. He's not using his walker anymore. He's not using his cane anymore. Uh, he still has a way to go, though. There's a few more things he could do. And that's just the power of the body, guys. The healing and regenerating power that is built into our bodies. Don't let anybody, don't let any medical professional make you feel like you are condemned to drugs or condemned to doctors. It's just flat out not true. All right. Uh, do, 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 let's go to Ron in Florida. What's up, Ron? Welcome to the Bright Side. Ron? Got Ron? Ron? Hi, on the, the t- do you know anything about an ion detoxification? That's the thing with your that feet. You put your feet in. Yeah, I know about that. I'm I'm suspicious of it. Um, it may or may not work. Listen, here's the thing with detoxification. The best way to detoxify your body is to breathe and to make sure you're getting bowel movements. Uh, if you're constipated and you're not breathing, ion, ion, whatever they call it, I've seen it at the trade shows and it does look impressive. I have to say, but I'm not totally convinced uh, that it works. Have you tried it? No, I'm just uh, wanting to know if it's it's a good idea. As to it, it, won't money hurt you. Or... it won't hurt you. How much is it? How much do they want for it? Well, I've seen them as high as $200, so that's why I'm... I'd say my money. Question. I would say my money. You know, you guys, detoxification is the body's nature. It's in the body's nature to detoxify. You don't need to help the body detoxify. You need to make sure you have regular bowel movements. You need to make sure you're breathing correctly, because that's one of the best ways to detoxify, is to exhale. And then you've got to make sure we're not putting the toxins into our body through foods, mostly. 
as far as these detoxification formulas and detoxification devices, you know, it's not going to hurt you, but there seems to be, in my opinion, there's probably better ways to spend 200 bucks. I'd be spending it on a good nutritional supplement program like, like Doc Wallach's longevity program if I were you. So that's, that's my take on it. And I have a friend who has glaucoma. Uh, do you have any? Yes, uh, glaucoma is an inflammatory, uh, like all diseases, it's got an inflammatory disease of the eye. The, the little canals, there's little tiny canals, microscopic canals in the eye that drain fluids. When you have glaucoma, those fluids, those canals don't drain the fluids and the eye pressure builds up. So it's an inflammatory disease of those little tiny cells that line the canals of the eye. Just treat it like any inflammatory disorder. Number one, focus on things that are getting into the body that are activating inflammation, micro-inflammation that is. And that means foods, correcting foods. I know it sounds weird probably to some folks. Hey, correct your diet and make sure you're, you got regular bowel movements for your glaucoma, but that's how the body works. So number one, focus on any toxicity that's getting into the system, especially through foods. Number two, start to patch up the digestive system, and that means use probiotics and use the glutamine powder and digestive enzymes and and, uh, improve fat absorption. Uh, There's wonderful anti-inflammatory nutrients, but as long as you have digestive problems, you may not absorb those anti-inflammatory nutrients. Vitamin E is stupendously anti-inflammatory. So is vitamin C. Uh, so you want 400 international units of vitamin E. Selenium and vitamin E work together, so you may want to throw in the OPC selenium. Uh, vitamin C is also wonderfully anti-inflammatory, I'd be ta- and it's also very helpful for the eyes, too. Uh, I'd be taking 1,000 to 5,000 milligrams of, 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 uh, of uh, vitamin C every day. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Get on the Mighty 90. And you may also want to make sure that you're taking higher doses of essential fatty acids, especially omega-3 fatty acids, which are anti-inflammatory as well. So focus on... Uh, when you have glaucoma, treat it as an inflammatory issue and treat all inflammatory issues as immune issues. The inflammatory system is how the defense system or the immune system shows up. So glaucoma means inflammation. Inflammation means immunity. Immunity means something is getting into the body that shouldn't be getting into the body. Uh, and that means, number one, eliminate that. Uh, and that's probably the best. And same with your ion machine, ion detoxification machine. That's the best strategy is to eliminate food toxicity, in my opinion. All right, got to move on, Ron. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see if we can get a couple more calls in. Uh, Phil in Virginia, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Oh, you know what, Phil? <laughs> Phil, I'm sorry. That's our music, Phil. So uh apologize for that. All right, I'm going to get the hang of this one of these days. I apologize for leaving you guys on hold. You can call back tomorrow. Tell our call screener we left you on hold, and we'll get you first up. And that's all the time we have for today. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about protein digestion, protein malabsorption, and the very interesting and underappreciated relationship between autoimmune disease and protein malabsorption. We will do that on our next Bright Side episode tomorrow. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com, and please join the Bright Side Ben team and help me spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. 
big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. 